What's up, YouTube? It's been a long time since I've done a video. Reason is, I've honestly thought about boycotting YouTube because they uh, they changed their policies all out of the blue. All of a sudden, after I'd already been monetized, they they uh, changed everything to where you got to have a thousand subscribers now. But uh, that's beside the point. I don't do these videos for YouTube. I do them for y'all. I know people like keeping up on uh, all the new stuff and like reviews and stuff and like to have stuff like that to watch. But anyway, we're going to get into it. Uh, the beta app has recently been updated for the Roku for DirecTV Now. They now have the full DVR functionality and everything, so we're about to go over that. Oh dear God, let me turn the sound down before YouTube gives me a copyright, which is stupid. Get it together, YouTube. But, uh, anyhow. The one thing I've noticed about this beta app is it don't load nowhere near as fast. It takes longer to load up. Once it loads up, it's usually perfectly fine. See, hmm, the video's taking longer than usual. Here we go. All right. Now, if you're on the screen or whatever, I'm going to just kind of give a run through real quick. The setup's a little different. You hit the down arrow. Go to watch now. And sometimes that section has... Okay, there it goes. My library, discover. And then, of course, you've got your uh, your regular guide right here. Like I said, for some reason, this takes a little longer. This beta app does. I guess they hadn't worked out all the bugs. But you guys see, like here, I'm just going to go to to the Destination America channel real quick and I'm going to show you guys how the DVR thing works on it. I mean, this is going to be better once they get out of this beta version, obviously. But if you hit the OK button, there at the bottom screen, see, there's record. And I just started recording that show right there, which is at the end of it. But let me show you the way that you're going to pull up your... Uh, your stuff that you have uh, you've recorded is like my uh, my library, which I recorded this earlier. It was Cupcake Wars, and you just you go to it and you can click it. And that's just a recording that you did. It's like, it's Cloud DVR. See, and then you can you can fast forward. And all that good stuff through the whole episode. You can rewind. I mean, it does it does what it's supposed to. Like I said, I'm sure they're going to work these little glitchy bugs out on this app right here. But uh, for all the DirecTV Now people that's been waiting for the DVR and they've been waiting for it, you need to get a hold of customer service and try to, try to hook up with them and, and get the beta app, which I've had it for a while. I just... They didn't have everything ready yet, and of course they've got, you know, like all their movies and stuff listed, but they've got it broke down into different categories than on the original version, and from what I've told, this version here eventually is going to do away with the old version of DirecTV Now on Roku. I can see here's straight out of Compton in the on-demand section. So you can go, to, ah, and that's showing that it's coming on later on today and look you can even set set it to pre-record too see i didn't know that matter of fact there we go i've got it set to record now that's pretty cool i didn't know that until just now but uh other than that you know the functionality is the same you can go from let me go back Okay, yes, go to live TV. Now, once you go to live TV on this beta version, it works the same. You can go from left to right and change the channels just like you can with regular TV. See, we're on this channel. Switch the channel. Go to the next channel. Like I said, it's glitchy. There's bugs because, like I say again, this is the beta version, so you got to take it with a grain of salt. But at least they're trying to get all their stuff together to where, you know, they're going to have the full DVR functionality, but I tell you what, everybody's going to have to step their game up because T-Mobile is about to release their uh, their new streaming TV service 
And from what I've heard, rumors, it's going to be 250 plus channels, around $50 a month. And you're also going to get Netflix, YouTube, and everything else is going to be integrated into that one app. And it's going to learn what you like to watch. And so it'll all be integrated. You won't even have to jump from app to app to app to app. It'll all be built into one. It's going to be available on Roku, Amazon, Fire TV, Android, pretty much every device. And here I'll show you people that don't have DirecTV now the difference in the, uh, the regular app versus the beta app. This is what I've used for, I don't know, close to a year now. Sling TV, they're all right, but they don't have nowhere near the selection of channels that DirecTV Now does. I like the streaming quality better on DirecTV Now. And, you know, if I'm going to pay for a service, I've, I've got to have some stuff to watch, man. I can't be sitting here slim on channels and then having to pay... Oh my God, if you get Sling TV and you get anywhere close to the channels that I got that I pay $70 a month for, I mean, you're looking at paying like $100 after you do all the add-ons and everything for the pay channels and everything. It's just ridiculous. But, uh, but yeah, you see how it's a little bit smoother on your normal app versus the, versus the beta app. I hear a lot of people talk about, well, I have buffering problems with DirecTV now. I've never had buffering problems. Everything works perfectly fine here. Change the channels. And for people that don't know, I mean, I, I use my T-Mobile hotspot for all my Rokus. I literally use about 300 gigs a month. I never get slowed down. So I mean, you know, this is this is the perfect service for me right here. But yeah, guys, if you hadn't, if you're a DirecTV Now customer and you don't have the beta app, uh, log into your account, talk to a customer service specialist, tell them you'd like to be involved in the beta program because you want to help be a tester because that's what I am. I'm a tester and they want everybody's feedback on what they need to do to make the app better and make the app more enjoyable and easier. And you see right there, invite only. But anyway, guys, check it out. That's the breakdown. That's pretty much how it works. You know it is what it is, and it's going to be better once they get the final product out there. But I'll see you guys on the next video. If you hadn't already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Share my videos, man. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Peace out.